morning. Where is this? Is this where? Oh, there. <laughs> I gotta clean my office with you guys. Good morning, happy Thanksgiving. Um, eight o'clock in the morning. Um, I don't have to cook too early today. <laughs> I need to say the word um, but I do not need to cook super early today because I'm just doing prime rib for the main um, meat portion and then just side dishes. Um, so I'm going to volunteer uh, to uh, prep up meals to feed that we're giving out to the, the community um, in my area. So Miss Mary is already there. Um, there. <laughs> she dropped off the cinnamon rolls that she made that Danica requested um, she gets up at like four o'clock in the morning so it started at seven I'm like an hour late but it's, it's supposed to run until 11 so I'll just stay longer than what I expected because my alarm probably went off but I just did not hear it <laughs> happy Thanksgiving friends happy Thanksgiving oh my goodness I had such a good time the family had such a good time last night when we did our Korean, our family Korean barbecue. So I need to do that every time uh, Danielle comes home because it gets the kids all together and you know they help cook up their own meal and Danica, oh my gosh, she ate a lot. So that's the most important thing <laughs> is that girl eating because it's so hard to feed her. All right, and then um, I'll show you guys how I do my Thanksgiving meal this year. Uh, just prime rib. Oh, the Hawaiian sweet potato. Oh my God, that's amazing. I, I first tasted that over in uh, Duke's, um, over in Waikiki. And then I kind of made my own version of it. So I'm gonna have that instead of the traditional sweet potato. Mash uh, potatoes for the prime rib. And then uh, I always do asparagus and bacon, garlic and bacon. Um, and then I use the bacon fat you know, to saute up uh, the the steam uh, asparagus and it's really good. Kids love it better than uh, green beans. And then Jonathan's gonna make that um, the biscuit uh, in a box, which is the, not Olive Garden, Cheddar Bay biscuits that they have over at Olive Garden. Um, that one, and then I don't even have a salad, friends. It's just very simple meal. Uh, it's just a, it's just us, and then hubby's dad is coming over, papa's coming over, and that's it. So very simple. All these prep. All right, look at all these meals. Two hundred meals for the family. It's all prep. And then over here, I'm on bread duty. We got 200 bags. Putting bread, rolls, and butter. For the breakfast as well, Miss Mary shared her cinnamon rolls. And then they have like these eggs and a coffee bar. Still more stuffings to do. So this one has green beans, stuffings, and potatoes. These are the sides. And we are at one of our local uh, brewing restaurant in here. And so they're the ones that does the, the meals, uh, helping the family. Uh, less fortunate for the holidays every year. So these are all done. These are all the volunteers. I'm home now, so we're gonna start cleaning up. Hubby's gonna pick up Papa, and then I'm gonna start prepping up uh, stuff I need to start cooking. So Thanksgiving is now happening. All right, so for Thanksgiving dinner, I'm going to be making prime rib. For the first time, I am cooking prime rib, so I'm a bit nervous. I have watched a few uh, videos of how to prep it, and then I do have a recipe from uh, Nana. Um, she made prime rib last year. She's made it before and her prime rib is just so amazing. Jonathan is like a total carnivore. He said that it 
cuts through like butter. Basically cover it with um, salt and pepper. And they said to do like a generous amount of salt and pepper. Okay, uh, coated with salt and pepper throughout. I'm gonna cover this with saran wrap, put it back into the fridge until I'm ready to cook it tomorrow. So it's gonna stay into the fridge overnight. This is about five and a half pounds of the prime rib that I um, marinated with just salt and pepper overnight onto the fridge, covered it up. And then now this morning I'm going to... All right, so I got garlic, minced garlic, uh, one and a half teaspoon each of the fresh rosemary and thyme, and then one stick of butter at room temperature, and then also salt and pepper. But if you've already added your salt and pepper, pepper a few hours before then just omit that if not then go ahead and add your salt and pepper into this mixture and do a rub go ahead and mix wait until your prime rib is at room temperature before you put it into the oven and then before you put the the rub Now I'm just spreading the butter generously all around the prime rib. Okay, I am doing the prime rib. Little brother is cleaning and the kids are decorating their tree upstairs. Danielle, this was a 75% off at Target last year, and so I didn't know how big it would be. But Danielle, where do you think I need to put it? I don't know. <coughs> Either here or there. Mm, maybe we can um, take that plant out and put it there? I just do don't think? know if there's an outlet. Oh. Uh, there's an outlet on the top where it says hello. Grease for 15 minutes, and then I'm just going to leave it like that with no cover. After 15 minutes, I'm going to reduce the temperature to about 320, 325, and then cook until um, it's the right temperature of how you want your prime rib to be. And it's about, I think they said about 12 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes per pound. All right, girls are in charge of potatoes. So Danny, you can do the Okinawa, Hawaiian Okinawa potatoes. Danielle is gonna do some of these uh, just regular uh, brown potatoes. Danica and Kuya are prepping up their tree upstairs. We got, you know, we're on time because prime rib is just gonna be two or three hours. Danica, they're gonna bring this upstairs and then they are decorating up there. I'm just gonna drop it off, so, and then we're gonna put the carpet. Oh, you're gonna put the um, you carpet. mean the the tree skirt? It's called a tree skirt, yeah. And then Danielle put this up. Thank you, Danielle. We went ahead and took out Santa from the garage and put Santa here. And then Jonathan Nativity, and that one is I like this one because it's like the forest. And then I added those two Scentsy warmers that I've had. And then over here, I have the pineapple, but I don't have it on. And then I just added just a little bit of uh, the gnomes. And then I love this one from, um, I think, Joanne's. But yeah, I like that. Oh, potato. This is a yam. A yam, yeah. Do me a favor. Danny, ask the question again. Um, I forgot. Oh, she wants, um, they, they want me to teach them how to do the peeling. So important. Away no, from your good I'm job. Not, I'm not going to do this way yeah. and hold it because that just freaks me out. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right. But see, I can't teach you guys because I go like this. See, I can't do yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Danny, I go like this. Like this. Yeah. But that, you have too big of a knife there. Um, do you want to switch on her? No. <laughs> I like Danielle has guy. issues with knives. <laughs> Alright, Danny, I'll get you a smaller knife. I read it in third place. <laughs> Alright, so this is the one thing I do love about our Thanksgiving meal prep is that I have the kids help out. So this is the time that they're all together. So I taught the big girls, you know, kind of what to do. And then the big girls teaches um, the little one. So, 
a nice family bonding. Jonathan is just putting away some stuff. And then if he wants, he can come down and we're watching Hunger Game. And then all kids are helping prep. So. All right, this is the Okinawa sweet potato that I'm gonna make um, the Hawaiian recipe for. And then compared to just a regular, um, regular potato. Okay, and then it's so pretty. Once you um, cook it, it turns into a very deep purple. I'm starting to boil the potatoes and then the sweet potato. Rib is looking good. Oh, um, those two foils there are garlic for the mashed potato. I have the potato just resting. Sweet potato is ready and then I have broth from the box and then I added some vegetables in there. And then garlic, butter, a little bit of onion. This one is going to be medium, uh, medium rare. So put it right into the center. Yes. While it's resting, cover it. And then we are now making asparagus. So I'm gonna do the bacon. Half of it is going to be with the, um, the stuffing. So. And um, sweet potatoes. So we're gonna put half a can of coconut milk. Okay, Danielle. There we go. And then kind of let that simmer until it thickens, okay? And then we're gonna add the potato. Slice the Okinawa sweet potato. There's the um, coconut milk thickening. And there's the, what do you call this? Stuffing, which is just the garlic, carrot, and then celery. We're going to add uh, chestnuts and then just this. Um, I, I'm, I'm making this last minute. It wasn't planned. This was the celery, garlic, onion, and then chestnut. And then I added the, the bacon. And then we're gonna now follow the directions of the box one. This is just kind of adding flavors to it. Here we have the coconut milk, about a third, depending on how much um, sweet potato you have. Salt and pepper, and then a little bit of that roasted garlic that I had onto the foil. And then I'm just gonna mix it in there. Danielle is following the instruction for the stove top stuffings. But instead of water, we're putting chicken broth. And then this is what we're gonna add on to it. Bacon, chestnut, um, celery, carrots, ba um, bacon, fat, all that goodness. Resting. Our Hawaiian sweet potatoes is in a very low heat. Okay. And then I'm gonna put it into a Contain. I'm going to boil the asparagus, um, the, copy the instruction from the box, add in almost all of it, maybe three quarters, mix it in and let, let it cover, and then I'm going to add this on top. All right, I was telling Danielle she's such a good cook. We bought this, I don't know, a dollar, have you bought it? You too? I don't know. But, look at that. Bacon chestnuts roasting on an open fire. We have the shallots and garlic and Daniel is sauteing it until it's nice and um, brown. Danny is just blanching the asparagus, which I think it's good, Danny. So let's go, let's see. It's just gonna be a few minutes. This is like really tricky because we don't wanna overcook. Go ahead and take that out. Yeah. There we go, Blanche. Just two minutes. Um, we're gonna add the asparagus that we blanched. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let it stay into one area kind of thing, and then we're gonna, um, we did a, Danny did good of just taking it out just right. Okay, good job. Okay. And then, mix it. The sauce for the prime rib, which is just red wine, um, the, the fat from that, and then um, beef broth, a little bit of salt and pepper, and whatever herbs I had left over from the original rosemary and thyme. 
Really good. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> you already gave me the other one. <laughs> Everything is so good. Thank you guys for helping. Mm. All right, friends. Just like that, we had dinner. We, I'm sorry. I think I filmed just a little bit of it. The seasoning for the the prime rib was amazing. So it's a perfect prime rib recipe. Just know when it's done to your liking, whether it's rare, medium rare, well done kind of thing, um, based on how many pounds you have. But seasoning itself, the way that I did it, was amazing. Thank you, Nana. Papa um, is catching the ferry. They're watching football for a bit. The kids, the big kids are relaxing. They've helped a lot today. They're gonna watch uh, one, Jonathan's gonna watch Napoleon. The girls are gonna watch uh, the new Hunger Games. And that's it, friends. This is uh, Thanksgiving. Just uh, low key, just us. And stayed home and then just did a little bit of a simple cooking. It wasn't even too much at all. I didn't even cook the shrimp because there was just so much food. Okay. I hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving. All right, until next time, friends. Mahalo.